All right, guys. So in part four of the uh, the playground modeling, we're going to go ahead and work on the monkey bar assembly. So the poles that, um, or sorry, the um, the rails, the uh, the bars that take care of the poles that we've created earlier on. So we've got three different documents that we're looking at in this case: the upright monkey ladder, the upright monkey bar, and the monkey bar itself. Now, of these three. Of these three different uh, pieces, we can go ahead and take a look and see what they have the same. Uh, in this case, all of the holes are centered in a six by six piece of uh, wood, six inch uh, by six inch piece of wood, centered at the same. And in the monkey bar, same case, six by six with the holes all centered. So the hole locations are going to vary a little bit uh, on the monkey bar. 12 inch spacing is typical, the TYP, whereas the monkey um, upright bar and ladder, we're dealing with about 10 inches. Okay, But the hole size is all going to be a diameter of two inches. Okay, uh, So within, uh, I think we'll go ahead and get started with the upright monkey ladder. I think that's going to be one of the simpler ones. So we know that it's going to have a height of 90 inches the six by six. So we'll get started with an on shape with the same information. So upright monkey ladder. And then I'm going to go ahead and start a sketch on the front view, turn off the top and right side views, change the location, change the view angle. And then I'm going to use the center point rectangle uh, just because I want it kind of tied to the origin. And I know that it is going to be six inches wide and then 90, 90 exactly in terms of height. Okay. So we hit front view to go ahead and zoom out. We can move the dimensions off to the side, get them off the drawing. And then we can go ahead, finish up this sketch to go ahead and extrude the six inches that we know that we need to extrude. Okay. So we can take a look and it's done the extrusion. The next step is we're going to draw on the front view to go ahead and uh, start placing. And rather than drawing circles for the holes, I'm actually going to use points uh, because those are going to be easy for it to go ahead and set up as a pattern. So hovering over the anchor, uh, the origin point, I'm going to make sure that it has a vertical line in there, place the first point, and then I can dimension that. Okay. So for this, we know that it has a 10 inch spacing okay, from the top. Um, Actually, let's change that. I don't want it 10 inches from the top. I want it actually 10 inches from the bottom. Okay. And there's going to be a reason as we get into making some of the copies. So from there, we can actually use a linear pattern. Okay. The idea of a linear pattern is we can go ahead and have it duplicate those points as high up as we need them. Okay. So I can tell it that I need it to go upwards, and I can tell it that that actually needs to be 10 inch spacing. Okay? And then I can tell it how many of them I want. Okay? So in this case, we know that for the upright monkey ladder, we need eight of them. Okay? So we tell it that I need eight. And what that does is it goes ahead and starts putting those all the way up. Okay? Now, I don't need any going left or right. Not sure why those are wanting to create. Okay. Okay. So got to manage the um, the linear patterns a little bit more carefully. But in creating those points, we can now go ahead and tell it that we're going to create a hole on each of those points. So I'm going to click and drag to select all of those points. I'm going to tell it that I need a diameter of two inches, and then it's going to uh, do a simple through cut of part one. Part one is basically the rectangle that we've created. Okay. 
So from here, we can see that it's cut through on one side. We rotate around, we can see that it's cut through all the way around. Okay. And at this point, we've got the upright monkey ladder finished up. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to modify the upright monkey ladder into an upright monkey bar. Okay. So the bar also has a height of 90 inches, but the difference here is it only has six of those patterns. Okay. Only six holes rather than the uh, total of eight that we had in the first one. So in the document, we're going to go ahead and copy the workspace. We're going to make it the upright monkey bar. Give it a second to go ahead and load that up. And then in terms of our second sketch, okay, we're just going back in and we're telling it that instead of eight, I only need six. Okay. And that gives us that spacing we need towards the top. Okay. So that's gone ahead, made the changes necessary for the upright monkey bar. And then that leaves us with the monkey bar itself, okay, where we're going to have 12 inch spacing. Okay. Now, you could redraw this because the monkey bar is going to have different orientation, but as long as you're being thoughtful about it, uh, we can still create the same general concept uh, in this object. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead, duplicate this, okay. change it to the monkey bar itself. and then taking it in the same direction. So the first thing is in terms of the sketch, um, let's go ahead and just make this 96, okay? So the orientation is going to be a little bit different, but the rest of the concept should still be all right, okay? Double check our dimensions, 96. And then we're going to go ahead, finish that sketch up, go into our second one, change that to the 12 inch spacing that we need. Okay, both locations so that there was the original measurement to the first point and then the distancing of the second one. And then we make sure that instead of that six points, we're telling it that we need all seven. Okay, because you'll notice there's one missing about there. Okay, so that's now been fixed. We can finish that up. We need to include that in the hole. You may have noticed that that didn't necessarily uh, get it copied in. Okay, but when we update that, now all of the holes are there. Okay, so again, good file management, planning ahead in terms of how you're creating your drawings and where you're setting your uh, starting points. Um, even though the monkey bar orientation is going to be a little bit different, once we get into the assembly, we'll be able to go ahead and uh, rotate it as needed. Okay, so. Again, fast and quick modeling is a good idea. The more you think through the process and the more familiar you get with these tools, uh, the faster it can be to go ahead and uh, make very similar models, even though there are some uh, distinct differences between all three. So uh, see you guys in part five.